Okay, so I had exasperatedly, uh, just barely missed the goal last time. I think I was at like 24k. Lack of seating, that's fine. There's only so much we can do, but we have four chefs. I mean, if this restaurant was bigger, yeah. Well, we could shrink the size of the massive fuck-off kitchen. Look at this piece of shit. It's goddamn huge. Uh, it doesn't look like you can offer favorite foods yet, and I think that comes later in the scenario, which is crazy. What didn't you like? Motherfucker, I will end you. Okay, it's the pea soup. We we tried. It's four bucks. It won a contest. Screw you. Who's cooking the soups? I thought this guy was cooking the soups. Yeah, you can get him up to 50-ish. <laughs> There's just no hope for this recipe. Also, he's not that good at these soups. Hold on. I thought it was 100%ing all the soups over here. Well, if I didn't have two months left in this scenario and I wanted to make sure that we actually could go punch through it, I would keep the training up, but now we're profiting this time. It's just gonna have to be good how it does. Whoa, that was a sentence and a half I tried to say all at once. It's just going to have to be at this point. Although he's got a mean seafood quiche. All right, music. Things are being cooked. It got quiet there. I'm not sure why. I wanted to say that I was going through my head what else needs to happen with these restaurants, but honestly, this is... Everything's put into place. It just needs it to happen. I thought it was going to happen a while ago, but we were a thousand bucks off, which makes me think we need to really amp up this. Like, where, where are some prices that can be raised? Uh, cinnamon streusel buns. I don't think we're cooking those quite at three stu- Well, actually, yeah, hold on, we'll find out. Give me a second. Um... Yeah, sale. Actually, two and a half. Not bad. Pea soup. It's kind of shit. Okay, these are doing a little bit better. Uh, the crepes can definitely be sold for more, and they should. Uh, the chicken and the beef and the eggplant. Chicken, beef, eggplant, and crepes all need to be up, upped in price. Oh crap, was it beef tenderloin or beef dab? It's beef dab. Put that up by two bucks, put the crepes to ten dollars, because holy shit, these things cost six bucks to make. 
Um, all right. Yeah, the eggplant can definitely go up by two bucks. Grenade chicken is. Eh, I can keep it there. It's not that bad. Do we have any better soups? We got creamy potato and pea soup on there, and I don't want to do any more because they're all terrible. Ugh, come on. Someone offer us an ingredient that we can add to our pea soup or something. That red bell pepper soup. Why is that so terrible? It's just a shitty soup. I don't know what else to say. Uh, come on, what else can I panic about? Uh, is Trey's the table going under? Everything's just four stars. And I can't get it any higher until we get the fucking food rating up. I can start spending shit tons of money on the exterior views. That'd be nice. I can't boost comfort. I don't know how. Service is 100%. Service is 100%. Service is getting to 100%. I mean, it's just the food. And the food is incremental. We just get little bit by little bit. Unless I want to stop serving soups and only serve things that are like four stars and above, but that's silly. <laughs> uh, everything's great about the restaurant except the fucking food. Uh, let's see, how's the exterior doing on the table? It's actually doing the best. Surprisingly, I thought I spent the most money on... Oh, hold on, it's all restaurants. Uh, yeah, the Nostra's up ahead. By just barely enough. It's okay, four stars is good. I'll get that fifth one when I'm ready. How many can this load up? Nah, it's usually you can't beat it. And honestly, I don't think... I'm trying to get two people to go to one, but it doesn't work like that. Yeah, it's fine, whatever. Um, yeah, how's the cash cow doing? Ooh, can I actually rename the restaurants? Hold on. Uh, where would that be? Restaurant lists. Yeah. Here's all of our suppliers that we can get. Turkey, duck, duck, and duck. Oh yeah, it was Machiavellian meats that held the weird things. Worcester, War Worcestershire. No, it's Worcester sauce. Gotta just kind of say it all at once and not. Ooh. Vatican venison sells peaches, pineapples, raspberries, and strawberries. You mean fruit? Someone who doesn't know English thought this was a clever pun. Like they're trying way too hard to get the uh, alliteration. Bill's Butchery. Okay, there must have been two writers. One writer doesn't know what the hell he's doing, and the other writer's actually pretty decent. Because the Vatican venison selling fruit seems like a bug to me. Whereas, you know, Herb Spice Rack is actually a decent, a decent name for a supplier. And they supply spices, ginger, all kinds of cool stuff. See, I can find something to complain about, even though I'm just waiting for the day, month, to end. Come on, I want to go see what this stupid Italian guy has got to do for me. You know, maybe the cramped atmosphere is what's doing it in for comfort. Like, is there a tooltip that tells me how to get more comfort? Because this is great. I mean, I upgrade the exterior and view, and this will be five stars in no time. In fact... Why the hell not? 100,000 bucks, but... Okay, yeah, that did something. A couple of weird noises in there, but now the environment's up to 96. We just need that food. Just need that fucking food. <laughs> Restaurant, doing everything perfectly except the food. Oh well. Pride and joy there. 
I can't rename it. Yeah. Oh, hey, all restaurants. We can... Yeah, let's do it. Let's put that to 10. Closing hours. Sure. There we go. And now this will all be the same. And we'll see if that negatively affects anything. They'll just give us a couple extra breakfast orders and might piss off the employees a little bit. Okay, I wasn't checking, but that looks like a pretty steady profit. Yeah, there's the music. Good, 40k is not bad at all. Alright, shut up, shut up, let's get on with the story. Wow, there's going to be an international food festival in Los Angeles. Isn't that where the Don was going? Did he say he was going to a food fest? Oh well. Come again? I'm completely... I've been living in a shack in the woods for all these years. And then I went to cooking school. I don't know what's happening. International competition in LA. You should see about entering the international food festival. <laughs> What's the competition requirements? Freestyle, everything. And the team size? Three. I've got an idea. I can go first to set up a restaurant. Okay. Well, this is a weird... Okay, if we can only gather our best chefs and somehow get a decent American recipe, we might have a chance. Or, I can go first to set up a restaurant in LA and see if I can't woo some American chef to join our cause. Eeny, meeny, miny, any chance of Mr. T is a reason to click that. Great idea, Armand. Expanding towards the land of the free. That was a pretty good idea. Shia LaBeouf. Well, I'm gonna go to LA and just set up a restaurant now. Uh, you keep doing that. Armand decides to establish a French restaurant in Los Angeles. Oh, God. Another one? Oh, God, another one. Uh, where'd it go? There it is. Holy shit. Okay. The genteel... Uh, uh, why do we get such a tiny friggin' restaurant? Oh, no. Okay, well... Uh, okay. Pause. Gotta build me another fucking... Ugh. Okay. Get comfortable. Gotta buckle up. Make it another restaurant. Okay, again, more French names that I don't know the meaning of. We can't hire any chefs, but we can totally throw our shit around because I've hired too many. Um, sure, let's go to Uncle Shia's house. Older LaBeouf. What a surprise. What is going on? You look agitated. I decided to open a restaurant in L.A. for no other reason than to enter a cooking contest. But I have no idea about the American restaurant scene. I just kind of opened a French restaurant there without thinking. What is the cooking? Like, that's the question he asked. Are you deaf? <laughs> God damn it, I've already done that. This asshole's like, hey, if you want to see how the cooking scene is, you should just go there and open a restaurant. I already did that. I was looking for advice. Okay, how can I get American recipes and chefs? Cooking contest? Sure. What kind of American restaurant? Go first and scout the market, then open a French restaurant. I already did that. No opening an American restaurant if you still haven't done that. Yep. That makes sense. I have so many freaking fresh restaurants, it's not funny anymore. Did you get the hang of the market? Okay. Any new advice? How's your staff doing? I did. Oh my god, I've already done this so hard. I have five star service in basically every restaurant because I've already thrown it in there. Okay, thanks for the tips that I really didn't need. Oh, hey. I'm gonna go to... I've already opened the restaurant, but that's fine. The ludic stuff. Story's getting in the way of the ludic stuff. It doesn't matter. Just gameplay. 
Hello, my Russian stereotype of a friend. How are you? <laughs> and he replies, Oh, my fellow capitalist comrade. Uh, you know us chefs. Always looking for the best things. Oh, there's also a new vegetable shop in town. Can I get the address off of you? <laughs> really? Have to pay for an address? Can't just look it up in the yellow pages? Neo-imperialistic hegemony. This guy's going off on something. Not be your accolade to destroy the rightful status quo of... How much? Uh, fine. Take... There we go. 5k. And she's over in Los Angeles. Okay, fair enough. An address in Los Angeles is... Not worth $5,000, but screw you. Yep. Hey, we got five-star salmon and crab. Yes, please. Like, can I buy 50? Hold on. And... Thank you. There we go. I'm already spending so much money in this guy's grocery store. And, yeah, he's just got normal shit. That's all. Eh, uh, whatever. He drank a little too much of the, uh... Soviet Kool-Aid, I guess. Okay, that's a four star. We gotta get this up to at least three or something. Actually, speaking of poaching chefs, where am I gonna get them from? So, Trey's a ta table can't go any less than two. That's just where it is. La Cosa Nostra should probably keep its three. Um... Yeah, no, I really can't see that going any less. So we gotta take him from here. I have a feeling I'm gonna leave behind Mario, because he's a beast and a half, and he can probably run this restaurant on his own. Uh, Vincent could still use some work. Armand's going ahead. Actually, Niccolo. Niccolo can probably come along. That should be good. All right. And Armand's going on. Okay, so we got our chefs over there. Should work out just fine. Um, right. I got a question. This thing, the goal is get to know Delia. We're doing that. International food fair. We have to win. Oh, it just needs a daily amount of customers. Okay. That's a little different, but we'll see what we can do here. 120 customers. That shouldn't be that hard. But you can't control it either. What we can control is meeting Delia. Delia? I don't know. Delilah. Tempted to call her that. Um, food fair. I kind of like to win those and win those as hard as I can. Multiple times. Uh, and I should have brought Mario if I was going to do that. Um, well. First, let's get this sorted. Because this actually needs a lot of things. Like a kitchen and a bathroom. And... Uh, get rid of the door. Okay, this needs at least two chefs worth of shit. And we're going to do two restrooms, just pretty much at a bare minimum. Let's yeah, throw in the restroom. No, come on. There we go. Just as tiny as they can go. And then we're going to do a two and two, maybe. Well, alright, first let's throw in this. Alright, see if I can't bump that up by one, and that should let an extra guy go in there. Okay. And then it's just adjusting the room until two sinks and a door fit. Okay, I know one sink fits there. Hmm. Yeah, that's that's no good. Yeah, I think we're gonna have to do something silly like that. And come on. Get 
on there. Something which may block the door. If I make it one wider. It's perfect. Um, and now I'm wondering if back against the wall. Mm hmm. That's kind of interesting. Um. Yeah, fine. Here's we'll we'll do it like we had. Yeah, just like that. Okay. And I think there is just enough if I go and make the men's restroom now. Yep. That's small enough. Let's just get it to where it was over here. Okay, kitchen's gonna have to be a little shallower, but we'll do just that to start with. Uh, that needs five, so two more like that should allow for a second one of these mofos. And just extend it so it's in line with the other room and Go ahead and throw those in there. Okay, perfect. I'm going to make sure that the $2,000 sink is, in fact, the most expensive and best comforting. It is. Nothing beats it. Okay, good. There's the restrooms. Okay. Now the kitchen needs to be expanded until... Hmm. What if I do that? No reason not to, I don't think. Make sure that this corner is nice and tidy, and plenty of room for everyone upstairs, and maybe even a few around here. Let's see how this will work out. Don't want people, let's see. Yeah, just kind of in the middle should be fine. Um, yeah, the cooking area is going to be back here, and the dumb waiters will be here. It's a little weird to put the dumb waiters by the windows, but that's fine. Uh, we need at least enough for two chefs to not do anything too bad. And I'm going to even go nuts and do something like that. Nah, that's, that's not. It's a little too nutty even for my tastes. Uh, I'm still doing these food puns on accident, aren't I? Okay. I think one very efficient dumbwaiter should do. That'll go right there. Oh, hey, yeah, that kind of works out there. Food processors. We really don't need that many, but okay. All right, time to figure out another food menu. Uh, we're in Los Angeles right now, so it does not really matter as long as it's good. Throw that shit on there. And everything award-winning, I'll keep on keeping on there. Let's throw that. Um, yeah, and that's one, two, three recipes. That's fair enough. All right, two soups. Yeah, peas and potatoes. That's what you get. That's all I got. Okay, and now for the foods that actually make up for everything else. Stuffed peppers is always a nice profit maker. Provincial rib steak. Uh, we've got so many better recipes that I'm just going to kind of hit whatever gives us 70. That needs to win a contest. Uh, and the fish wellington could stand to win something too. I'm going to leave it off just for now. The dried bean casserole. Um... Well, we could do that. It's a good 56. What do I have room for? Yeah, 56 versus 67 is iffy. Uh, we'll do that in the casserole, sure. Okay, and for dessert... Uh, gotta keep going with the strawberries jubilee. It's just too classic to not include. Seafood quiche, give it some American... Um, 
French apple tart, always a good money maker. And I guess the crepes. Fat Americans like their desserts, don't they? So we'll just keep on, yeah, fruit gratin and almonds. Okay, something should probably go from there, but the cinnamon streusel buns only need to be 10 bucks. That's seven. Uh, keep it at 13, make everything. Uh, yeah, I can probably go down to seven. Got to keep prices low just to appeal to the wallet before I can start overcharging for things. Yeah, that dried bean casserole that makes four bucks to make. I'm going to do 13. Only make nine dollars on that. Um, that is good at 15 right there. Uh, the chicken, just 16. Have to keep it there. Casserole of pork, it's always too much. Put it down to 15. Stuffed peppers, good money maker. Uh, I could probably get that down to 10 without anyone complaining too hard. And the dab. I wish you could rename recipes. Because I'm going to keep making that joke because I don't know how to pronounce that word. Uh, 16 would be the most expensive thing on the menu. Yep. Tied with that, and that makes sense. They're both three and a half stars. Hi, music. You're back again. Okay, that's nine bucks. Not going any further down. That's nine bucks. Just gonna keep that there. Eh, screw it. Nine dollar desserts. They complain. Okay, that can't... Well, actually, that can be nine dollars. Nine dollar desserts, that's what we're doing. And gotta buy ourselves a booze license. Just do all the things. Yep. Alright, cool. That's set up, except for some tables. Alright, let's get the waiter station, and it's probably best to just throw that in the corner here. Just as far back over here. Yeah, there we go, just in the corner, who cares. And that actually gives us some room. Not enough. I do like to keep this open. And I actually would not mind at all putting something interesting in the middle there. Like booze. No. Um, <laughs> fireplace between the bathrooms would be kind of funny. It doesn't really fit, though. Um, putting it there is not a terrible idea. a little much, but actually that if I did that it'd block a uh, view of over there and that fireplace is doing just well enough for itself. Okay. Now the point of this restaurant is to shove in as many people as I can, so I'm halfway tempted to just go all out with the uh cushions here, but let's see. So if I give that wide berth, and maybe even give eh, yeah, and the more I do, the less that actually fits here, but we'll put one by the fire. Would another one fit? Eh, uh, yikes. Okay. Um, fireplace. Whoops, I got rid of it. Oh, no, I didn't. It just kind of snapped back. Now I got rid of it. Okay, walls up. I want to see how much room we got to play with here. We really don't have all that much. I thought this was way more room than it was. Eh, I can still shove two tables in here. Ooh, if I could even those up with the front door and if you scooched over just a skosh mm, actually if they were just one more closer because if I want to line yeah hold on line that up with that that up with that 
that's a little too close together, so we'll move them each apart by one, and that's symmetry. Close enough. Okay, I have two tables downstairs, but the upstairs is my oyster. There is nothing up here. Uh, there are a lot of um, a lot of phrases turned that involve food. Eh, that's fine. Okay, these are the most expensive ones, so that's what we're going to go with. And we're just going to have a row of these bad boys. Ooh, can we... I want four, but they don't fit. So actually, we will move their position then. I do like all of those, but we will do... Yeah. Yeah. Ah, I just can't win, can I? Okay, let's see. If I go down and we put... It's going to make this a little less efficient, but... We can put the two stations over here, like that. In fact, we can probably even scooch this over... Yeah, just there. That should work. Okay, and that means we can fit in that fourth booth. Oof, maybe not. Alright, hold on. Oof, okay. So much is going wrong here. Ugh, I can never fit in four booths. Okay, we definitely need this aisle to be clear, because that's where servers will go. I'm putting it in the corner. Alright, we're, we're doing this. We're shuffling you guys over here. Because it really doesn't matter where you are, as long as everything else works. Okay, you're in the corner. Plenty of room. It's going to be hard to block that off, but it really doesn't matter. Uh, let's see if we don't have any good separators. We have this, and... Yeah. I think that is the best we can do regarding that. Yeah, screw the window. I don't care if we put the separator right next to it. That should be fine. Okay, and now that we have four very large tables, we need to fit in as many kind of smaller tables as we can. Shoving them in there, and it just seems like a terrible idea. But one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And one, two, three, four, five. Okay. That's eight, ten tables in this restaurant. Damn it. I really don't think we can shove any more in there without some serious workarounds here. All right, let's see if we can't do some serious work around. First, throw one of those over there. All right, let's see if we can't get away with more if we do it this way. It's going to be harsh, but I think that'll do. Man, that is really shoving them in there. Uh, we're going to need to put a lot of shit on the walls to make them happy. Uh, so first things first is the fireplace. One of those right there is just fine. A knick-knack drawer. I guess two of those, because honestly, what the hell am I supposed to do with this space? Except fill it with old statues. Oh, shit, I'm out of money. Okay, hold on. Let's make sure we can light the place. Ugh. Yep, okay, good. Okay, thank... Goodness, I caught that until it wasn't too late. All right. I think we got everything we need. I'm going to go ahead and open this. Uh, 
I guess we'll decorate it as we go. Like, how bad is it? Not that bad, right? I forgot to hire staff. Let's hire staff. Yeah, we need some staff. Okay, so... Once again... Ooh, we got our choice of captains here. Alright. Hire two captains. One of them needs to stay on the second floor. The other one can do what he wants. Okay, we will need one server. How about Gareth here? Come on, Gareth, you are staying on the first floor. Everyone else will be a second floor. Okay, 649 is the next highest. 531 is the next highest. And... Yep, that'll do. Now receptionist. Yep, there you go. And the two kitchen porters. That will do just nicely. Okay, so now server auto. Did I already put someone on first floor only? Yes. So Bruce can be that, but these two guys need to stay on the second floor. Okay, one of you washes dishes. One of you operates the dumbwaiter. Receptionist recepts. Okay, cool. Now that we have service, good. Environment's okay, the exterior's kind of shit, but we don't have any money to deal with that, so we're open for business. Hooray. Are we? I gotta put all the restaurants. Uh, I have to go back here. All restaurants, make sure they open at 10. There we go, okay. So this restaurant will just open whenever it opens. Whew, gotta watch my money next time. Um, I could always hold off on getting to know... Okay, overall rating 3.5. We're gonna have some issues, but... Uh, right, staff training. Put 10k into that, should be alright. Alright, come on, open up. Let's get going. We got food to serve. Gotta get this day started already.